Hello, I'm reading this story called Fancy Nancy and the Delectable Cupcakes. I adore school. Adore means to really, really like something. But today, I can't wait to go home. I am going to bake cupcakes. Fancy cupcakes. Nancy, did you hear what I just said? Miss Glass asked. I shake my head. I will repeat it, Miss Glass says. Repeat is fancy for saying something over again. There is no recess tomorrow because of the bake sale. The bake sale is to raise money for the library books. Before I leave, I go over to Miss Glass. I am sorry. I wasn't being a good listener. Miss Glass smiles. I know you were trying to improve. Improve is fancy for getting better at something. I hug Miss Glass. I adore her. Really, I do. On the way home, Bree says she is making brownies for the bake sale. Robert is making a red velvet cake. It is not really made with velvet. That is a very fancy kind of cloth, but the inside is all red. I will definitely buy a piece, I tell him. At the market, my mom buys eggs and milk, flour and sugar and butter. Don't forget sprinkles and candy, I tell her. It's lucky I am here, or we would end up with a plain cupcakes. I want to start baking right away. I listen carefully to my mother. Miss Glass would be very proud. I put all the right stuff in the batter. I pour the batter into the cupcake pan. My sister is not such a good listener. My mom tells her three times to keep her fingers out of the batter. The cupcakes come out of the oven. Oh, la, la, what a lovely aroma. Aroma is fancy for smell. When they cool off, we put on frostings and sprinkles and candy. I want to show Mr. Mrs. Divine my cupcakes. My mom says, come back soon and be sure to leave the cupcakes where Frenchie can't get them. I am already out the door. Mrs. Divine buys a cupcake. She said it is delectable. That is fancy for yummy. I come home and call Bree. We make a deal. I will buy two of her brownies. She will buy two of my cupcakes. I hope I sell all of them. A minute later, I hang up. Then I see Frenchie's face. Frosting is all over her mouth. Oh no, the cupcakes are a mess. Nancy, didn't you listen? Mom at my mom asked. I said to leave them in a safe place. <sighs> it is all my fault. I wasn't listening, I tell my mom. Just then my dad comes home. I tell him what happened. Now I don't have cupcakes for the bake sale. Cupcakes, my dad says. You baked cupcakes already? Then he holds out a big bag. In it is all the stuff for cupcakes. I told you I would buy everything. Both my parents say at the same time. Then they start laughing. I laugh too. Nobody in my family is a good listener. Oh, goodness. After dinner, we bake cupcakes all over again. I am exhausted. That's fancy for very tired. My dad says, Nancy, please get ready for bed. Guess what? For once, he doesn't have to repeat himself. The bake sale is a big success. My cupcakes are all gone. Oh, I say to my mom, I didn't even get to taste one. Look, my mom says, she saved one for me. I taste it. Mmm, totally delectable. The end. Thank you.